Hello children, as promised, I'm back again. Well, we are forwarding towards the end of the video. And here we would be learning about the harmful effects of the microorganisms to animals, plants and human beings. So let us not waste more time and start knowing more about it through the upcoming video. Organisms are indeed helpful to life. However, there are some microbes which can cause diseases to humans, animals or plants. Such disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens. In this video, we will discuss about some of such microbes. Disease causing microorganisms in humans. Pathogens may enter in a body through air, water, food or by direct contact with infected person. The diseases that pass from infected body to healthy body and cause disease in healthy body are called communicable diseases. Airborne diseases Common cold is a viral infection. During sneezing of a person suffering from common cold, fine droplets of moisture spread in air, each of which contain thousands of viruses. These viruses may be transferred to healthy body during breathing, causing disease in the body. So, the infected person must use handkerchief while sneezing and the healthy person must be kept away from the infected person. Some other airborne diseases are tuberculosis which is caused by bacteria, measles, chickenpox, polio, common cold are caused due to viruses. Spreading of airborne diseases can be prevented by keeping the patient in complete isolation and by keeping the things of patient away. Vaccination at suitable age is also helpful. Waterborne diseases Cholera, Typhoid, Polio, Hepatitis B are caused due to drinking of water containing pathogens of respective disease. Cholera and typhoid are bacterial infections, whereas hepatitis B is viral infection. To prevent such diseases, we should maintain personal hygiene and good sanitary habits. We should eat properly cooked food and drink boiled water. Vaccination also helps to prevent waterborne diseases. Diseases transmitted by carrier The organisms such as houseflies, mosquitoes, which carries pathogens, are called carriers. Pathogens present in garbage stick to the body of the housefly. When houseflies sit on uncovered food, pathogens get transferred to the food. Eating such food causes diseases, for example, cholera. So, it is advised to keep food covered and eat food that is covered. Similar to housefly, the female Anopheles mosquito carries parasite of malaria called Plasmodium. Female Aedes mosquito carries viruses of dengue. If we control the population of mosquitoes, we can control the spread of malaria and dengue. Basically, all mosquitoes breed in water. And so, we should not let water collect anywhere, like in tires, flower pots, in coolers, etc. We should keep our surrounding clean and dry. Use of mosquito nets and mosquito repellents, spraying insecticides 
also help to control malaria and dengue. Disease causing microorganisms in animals. A bacteria causes dangerous disease anthrax in human and cattle. Foot and mouth disease of cattle is caused by a virus. Vaccination can prevent such diseases. Disease causing microorganisms in plants. Diseases in plants result in less crop production. Some of these diseases are Citrus canker is caused by bacteria and transmitted through air. Rust of wheat is caused due to fungi and transmitted through air or seeds. Yellow vein mosaic of okra, that is bindi, is caused due to virus and transmitted by insects. So students, I am quite sure that now you people can understand what is the difference between harmful and useful microorganisms and now you are that much sure that to difference the different kind of microorganisms. But to protect our environment, we need to also understand that plants are anyways important to us. So let us see how nitrogen cycle works in our environment. Cool. Living organisms require nitrogen for the synthesis of proteins and nucleic acids. Atmosphere contains about 78% of nitrogen, but it cannot be utilized by living organisms unless fixed in the form of ammonia, amino acids or nitrates. The cyclic process by which nitrogen element is circulated continuously through the living and non-living components of the biosphere is called nitrogen cycle in nature. Atmosphere and water bodies contain nitrogen. Plants cannot absorb nitrogen as such, but absorb nitrogen as ammonia and nitrates. Blue-green algae and certain bacteria can fix atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. There are three ways of nitrogen fixation. They are atmospheric nitrogen fixation, biological nitrogen fixation, industrial nitrogen fixation. Atmospheric nitrogen fixation. During lightning, due to high temperature, the atmospheric nitrogen reacts with oxygen and forms nitrous oxide, nitric oxide and nitrogen peroxide. These compounds dissolve in rainwater to form dilute nitric acid. When it reaches the earth's surface, they react with alkalis and form nitrates. Plants easily absorb nitrates. Biological Fixation Certain bacteria and blue-green algae can fix atmospheric nitrogen directly into nitrates. Nitrogen fixing bacteria are of two types. Free living, example Azetobacter and Clostridium. Symbiotic, example Rhizobium presents in the root nodules of certain leguminous plants. Anabena and Nostoc, algae. Well, students, I guess you people have understood the concept of the chapter properly and still if you have any doubt, you can reach back to us in the chat section.